guys, welcome back. It's your girl King, and I got another video for you. It's been a while since I've done a story time on my channel, guys. Like, I have not, I don't know, I just haven't really been thinking. I'm, I've been, I, I, I'm kind of like leading more towards vlogs. If you haven't noticed, like, that's what I've really been doing because I feel like it's a lot easier. But there is a couple stories every now and again when it comes to mind. I'm like, am I really ready to, like, let that out like do i really want to be those type of youtubers who just tell it all but i'm not sure give me some time and i'll see give me some time before you leave this channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you will be updated with all any and all of my videos and also hit that notification bell as well that will help you out big time so you will never be behind and let's just go ahead and get on with this video so today's story time if you could tell by the title I'm gonna be telling you about the first time that my mom said those words to me. Get out. I couldn't believe it. I was only 14, I believe. I believe I was about between 14 and I wasn't 16. I know for sure I wasn't 16 yet. I don't think so. But I was about 14 or 15 or so. Between those numbers. And when she told me to do that, y'all honestly didn't think like let me back it up. Let me back it up, back it up. So, growing up, I was not that little angel of a child. Let me tell you that right now. I know for sure I was not that angel. And I, I gave my mom hell. I gave my mom a lot of hell. And it was, in, in my book, it was reasons. It was a lot of reasons why I did so. Um, I didn't always live with my mom. I was really with my dad and my grandma and full-time. And my mom really had me, like, part-time because of her job. So when it was time to switch over and move over with her, I just didn't really, I was already like comfortable with them. You know, I knew that was my mom. She, I had, I seen her on the weekends, but it was still more like, hmm, I really want to be, and plus we're talking about moving. Let me just let you guys know this so you can have this mindset. I lived in Bahamas, okay? I lived in Bahamas all the way up until I was nine years old. And then my mom, I lived with, in my grandma's house with my dad. My mom lived in Bahamas as well, and but her job, she, you know, she, it was everything was a little rocky for her at the time. So the best decision that she made was to leave me with my dad, and my grandma. Okay, cool. I have so much cousins over there, so much family, and you know, I, that's all I knew. She got up and she left Bahamas and she came to the states. She decided, hey, I'm over here in the States. I want to, you know, I'm settled down. I'm like, you know, I'm stable. I want my child to come over here now. You know, I, I'm, I'm, she, I guess she like, you know, you get the picture. You know, come over here and make it better for me to be with her or whatever. Anywho, her and my dad came to an agreement. Like I said, her and my dad came to an agreement and said, okay, cool. Anyway. I, when I came over here, I gave her hell. I gave her so much hell because I, it was hard for me to adjust. Um, I really was so used to being around my cousins and family that over here, I don't have any cousins, no family. So it was very hard. And I was hoping that, that if I, the more I acted up, the more that she would just say, you know what? F it. You're going back to your dad. And that never happened. It never happened. So... I just kept trying. I was just that little child that just kept trying, kept trying, kept trying. And, you know, it, it never it never worked. There was this one time where I really pushed her buttons, y'all. When I say I pushed her buttons. So, another thing that I was not used to. Now, when I stayed with my dad and my grandma and all of them, I didn't, I wasn't used to whoopings. I didn't get whoopings. I don't think I gave any problems to get whoopings. Okay, like I literally, the quietest child, like my dad was against whoopings. He did not want anybody to put their hands on me. Literally, if you put your hands on me or you raise your voice, he stepped in the picture. He was like, don't. Okay, so I, I was used to that. You know, I was used to not getting, when I, when I did see my mom on the weekends, she did punish me, whatever, but it wasn't really that much whooping. I didn't, I don't even remember I did I get whoopings when I was, was seeing her on the weekends. I really don't think I did. Cause like I said, like she'll probably yell at me and tell me, don't do this, don't do that. But I didn't really get whoopings. Okay. So once I moved with her, 
I found out what whoopings were, okay? I found out the real definition of a whooping, okay? Like I said, I did so many different things trying to get her to just make up that mindset and say, you're going back. Like, F that, you're going back. So I started getting whoopings. I started getting whoopings, okay? I didn't care. I started getting whoopings, and I, that's what really was pissing me off because I was like, you know, I'm like saying to myself, if I was with my dad, I wouldn't be getting no whoopings. Like, this is, you know, this is crazy. Like, something wrong with her. So this one particular night, it was me, my mom, and my godmother stayed the night over. And I really, really was like, I don't know why. I just was in this mode where... I knew I'm going to get a butt whooping, but I'm going to do it anyway type thing. And that's just the mind that I always had as growing up. Like, I would still know that I'm about to get a butt whooping, but I still would do it. And I think this one particular night, I don't know if I felt like my, my godmother was more like, I seen her more like, she, she was so easy to talk to. I love the heck out of my godmother, okay? She, I could talk to her, and whenever I was angry at my mom, I would talk to her like, she was more, I seen her more growing up as my mom, more. You understand? Like, it was like, that was my angel, whatever. So, I don't know if I felt protected that night that my godmother was there with me. But I don't know what came, what dark cloud came over me and made me feel like I was in control, y'all. Because let me tell you, I was not myself that night. I was extra. I was extra. Okay, so she told me to do something, and I don't want to make it up because I really don't remember what she told me to do, but I know she told me to do something, and I kissed my teeth. If you guys don't know what kiss your teeth, you know, we say kiss your teeth or suck your teeth when you go, you know, when somebody tell you to do something, you're like, like, I ain't doing that. You know, that's extremely, <laughs> that's extremely dish. I'm laughing now because, you know. But it's extremely disrespectful and it's extremely rude for you to do that to anyone, anyone, especially a child doing that to an adult. So I did it. I did it and it was loud and she heard me and I did it. Okay. And when she told me, no, let me back it up. I think I'm missing something. Now that I'm talking about it, I think a lot is coming back. Now, before I got to the part of me kissing my teeth or sucking my teeth, I don't know why I said kissing my teeth, but sucking my teeth, um, she told me to do something happened, and I got a butt whooping out my work. I'm trying to think, like, what did I do? Honestly, guys, I can't literally tell you, like, what did I do that caused me to get a uh, but whooping that night and I would that's what really put me in the mode where I was like I don't give a because I was like I'm tired of these butt whoopings <laughs> but you would think I would if I was tired and I would stop right and I was like I was tired of these butt whoopings and I don't care no more and I ran and sat like my bed was like it was like my bed was in the middle of the room and like I had a little space to sit right here and then there was a wall so I would always just go sit behind like next to the bed and I sat there with my legs curled up like this and I was just like and she heard me because she was still in the room and she heard me and she was like stop you know did you just kiss did you just suck your teeth at me or whatever and I and I was like <laughs> you heard me like I did it and she knocked me y'all she knocked me off my day butt and um I did it again and she was like, I, it pissed her off. It, I know that night pissed her off. And I know she felt really embarrassed in front of her, in front of my godmother, which was her best friend. She felt embarrassed because she seen like, like somebody else is looking and seeing like, you don't have no, it looks like you don't have no control over your child. Cause literally that's what it looked like, you know? And I used to talk to my godmother a lot. My godmother would tell me like, you know, don't disrespect your mom and stuff like that. But <sighs> I revealed to her the reason why, but I still was just, my mind was, you know, I made a lot of mistakes, guys. I was, I was not the best, <laughs> but anywho, so she literally, she smacked me. I kissed, I sucked my teeth. I'm going to still say kiss my teeth. Y'all hear me say kiss my teeth. Y'all know what I mean. I'm a, 
That's just what I, I'm so used to saying. I don't know why. But she said, did you just kiss your teeth again? And I was like, I ain't say nothing. And then she, I did it again. And she was like, she smacked the crap out of me, y'all. And when she smacked me, I did it again. And she smacked me again. Every time, I literally sucked my teeth about four times, guys. And every time she heard me kiss my, because she literally was standing right there. And she's stand, standing up over me because I'm sitting on the floor like this in the corner by the bed. And she's standing right there. And every time she smacked me, I just went. And I don't know why. I honestly don't know until this day. Like, why did I keep doing it? I literally was so angry. And I was like, Kenya, why did you just shut your freaking mouth or stop doing it? When she, like, I don't understand. Like, I look at myself and I'm talking to myself now, talking to the, that person back then. And I'm like, what, what was wrong with you? What was wrong with you? But I, I did it. So, literally, like I said, four times, guy, like about four times, that lady went pow, pow, pow. And I just went. I did it. It's like I went harder and harder. So she was like, oh, so you think you grown? Oh, so you think that you could, you know, you, oh, you want to act like, that? you know, all the stuff in the world. She's like, oh, you want to, you think you're grown. You think you could just do what you want to do and, and blah, blah, blah. That's not hurting you by me hitting you or whatever. You can get out. OMG. I thought that, you know, moms always say that, but not all moms really act on it. And I didn't, that never happened to me. Like I said, she, I lived with her from like nine and this happened when I was around about 14, 15 and nothing that serious out of all the crap that I ever did, nothing that serious ever put her to the point where she would say, you can get out. So I didn't really think she was serious. But I was wrong. Okay. She pulled me by the back of my shirt. And she... I didn't even have no shoes on, y'all. She was like... Because when she said, get out, I still was sitting there. Still sitting there like... And, I, and the bad... The, what really pissed off... I think what really made her do that... Because I wasn't crying. I didn't say anything. I didn't share not one tear. And I think that's the worst thing. When you whooping some child, if you one of the ones, some people against it. If you if you don't whoop your child, then that's you, okay? That's on you. But when you whooping your child, discipline your child. Okay, let's say discipline. If you discipline your child and they not they don't want to shed not one tear, that pisses you off. That pisses you off. Cause you just saying, you saying to yourself, I wonder what is going through their mind like why they not crying? Like, cry. Cry. I want you to cry. <laughs> so, I think the fact that I didn't cry is what really got under her skin. And, I like, because my godmother was there watching, she was, like, she she was just, she wanted, she didn't want to interfere. But she was, like, out there. And she just pulled me by my shirt. And she said, get out. Put me out the door. And closed that door and locked it behind me. And I was, like, that's when I started crying. And I was like, OMG. And I just went, it was like this little, like, um, like this porch that was like right under my window. It had like chairs, lawn chairs and stuff. So I just literally went around and I just sat there on the chairs underneath my window. And I was just sitting there and I started, that's when I really started crying because I was like, OMG, I can't believe she actually did this. Like, what the hell? Like, you know, I'm like, I don't really think she gonna really put me out. Mm. Kenya, you effed up, Kenya. <laughs> like, you effed up. Like, what the freak? And I think I sat out there for about a good hour. I sat there for, I could hear them talking inside the, in there. And I heard my godmother talking to my mom. And I didn't really could piece out what she was saying to her. Like, I know she, she was trying to tell her, like, hey, you know, she's young. Blah, blah, blah. And, and... She was just trying to talk to her. And in the midst of me crying, I, would, I could hear her, but I can't. And I wasn't giving a shit. I was like, I don't care. Like, this is, like, I, you know, like, this is crazy. This is crazy. I'm not going nowhere. Like, I ain't got nowhere to go. I ain't got no shoes on my feet. I ain't got no, like, whatever. Like, 
you know, I'm gonna just sit here. And she get up in the morning and she come out, like, and she gonna see me sitting right here. So all of a sudden, like, about a, after about an hour, um, she, my godmother came out to come get me. She came out and she was like, hey, come, she's like, she came to me, she gave me a hug, and I, that made me boo-hoo cry even more, even more, and she was like, come inside, and I was like, are you, are you sure? Because you don't live here. <laughs> like, are you sure? And she was like, yeah, come inside. I spoke to your mom, come inside. So I was like, okay. And I went in, and I, ugh. And then she made me apologize. That was the hardest apology ever, because I was like, how dare you? You put me out. Like, you're supposed to be my mother. Like, you don't do that. And <laughs> my godmother was like, trust me, just apologize, and just say sorry, or whatever, whatever. And, you know, oh, my God. I could barely get the words out of my mouth, y'all. Like, I was just like, <laughs> Um, I'm sorry. I was like, <laughs> like, like <laughs> yo, this shit is real. And I just went to bed. That night, I literally just went straight in my bed. I was just so happy to be in my bed. It was late night, y'all. I was just so happy to be in my bed that I just, like, ran in there. But I cried the whole night. When I say the whole freaking night, I cried the whole night. Like, every chance that I woke up in my sleep, I was crying. I was crying. I was crying. I was crying. I woke up the next morning, and the next morning we went over to her um, other friend's house. And when I say I had bags under my eyes, y'all. Bags. Bags. Y'all. I was like, what the freak? I looked horrible. And her friend saw me because, of course, I had to go wherever she went. So we went to her friend's house, and as soon as I, she opened the door and she looked at me, she was like, what's wrong with you? And she looked at my face. She was like, what the hell? And then she she already heard about what had happened. So she was like, oh. And she, went, she wanted to talk to me and tell me, oh, you know, you don't disrespect your mom and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I had to play the role because, I, you know, I was like, God dang. And I know you probably ask yourself now, like, well, did you learn your lesson? Did you stop? Did you, you know? Need to say, no, I didn't. But <laughs> it never got that serious again. So, kind of, I simmered down, but kid gonna be a kid, you know? So, yeah, that's the time that I got put out. The first time my mom ever put me out, guys, that was just so scary. And, um, I, at least I didn't really, you know, I, I didn't get, like, on the street. I wasn't on the street or nothing like that. But, it's still, I still was, I still heard those words. So, I don't know, guys. But, it was a lesson that needed to be, you know, taught to me. And, to anybody else that's, that's out here, any kids, whatever, like, respect your mom. Like, don't do that. Like, I look at now, I'm a parent, and I look at my kids, I'm like, if my child ever do some crap like that to me, or do anything be disrespectful like i doubt that i would put them out at an underage or whatever but at the same time it's like you need you know i don't i don't know what i would do honestly i don't so communication is key i believe communication is key they need to, they should have checked with me to see if i wanted to move you know i check with me you know i had i felt like i had to say so too you know what i'm saying like yeah y'all my parents but hello like what's best for the child and what happened to what's best for the child so, yeah. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a great big thumbs up for stories. Um, I don't really have much that I'm going to be like, oh, my God, what happened to this? Honestly, I have to really, like, backtrack and even decide do I even want to tell that story because, you know, some things, you know, people can get very judgmental. So, yeah. Alright guys, until next time, I'll see y'all in the next video. Don't forget to comment down below, share, and also hit that like button. Hit the like button, and um, I'll see y'all in the next one. Toodles.